What's growing on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to show you a foolproof way that will have you harvesting veggies an entire month early every single year. Tomatoes, peppers, string beans, cucumbers, zucchini. These are some of our favorite things to grow in our backyard garden, but it seems like we have to wait all year for these things and the harvesting window is just so short. Many of us are not picking these things until June or July, maybe even later in colder climates. That's because frost and freeze kill all of these individual plants, and we're just at the mercy of Mother Nature. We can't plant them out into our garden until the frost and freezes stop. And for most of us, that means we really can't get them out until April and May, and we're not going to harvest them until late June, early July on a good year, maybe even later on a bad year, right? Here on the North Carolina coast, our average last frost date is usually somewhere around March 30th. But here I am with a big tray of tomato seedlings that are going to be ready to go in my garden in only a few weeks. That's right, I'm going to plant these out in February, and this is going to allow me to get tomatoes probably by May 1st, instead of having to wait all the way until June on most years. How am I going to do this? Well, it's easy. See, these tomatoes are determinate style tomatoes. This is a determinate tomato called Legend right here. This is a dwarf tomato project variety called Rosella Purple. These are only going to grow to be about 30 inches tall. Look, here's another determinate variety called Marglobe and another dwarf variety called Dwarf Emerald Giant. Again, they're only going to get 30 inches tall. And this allows me to easily place them in one of these lightweight seven gallon fabric grow bags. These are perfect for growing determinate tomatoes. I will take my early tomatoes tomato seedlings and I will plant them in the seven gallon fabric grow bags and then I will stack them in a row up against the south wall of my house in this protected microclimate by my sunroom. And what this will do is it will keep them artificially warm and sheltered throughout the day so during the day when the sun's out they will be extra warm. Now in late February, I am still getting frosts and freezes somewhat regularly, but because I'm only one month away from my last frost and freeze date, they become a lot less frequent. So I'm only going to probably get a frost or freeze one or two nights every single week. So what will I do on those nights? Well, I will just pick up my lightweight grow bags and I'll just carry them inside my sunroom and protect them for the night. Or I'll get out my wheelbarrow or my garden cart and I'll just place them in there and wheel them into my garage and then they will be protected from the frost and freeze and then I'll carry them back outside in the morning and put them up against my sunroom where they belong. I have been employing this technique for years to extend my harvest a month early in the spring and a month late in the fall, and it never lets me down. In fact, I have been growing this cherry pepper for four years using this shuffling technique. In fact, this four-year-old cherry pepper is still loaded with fruit. Yeah, that's right. It's January 27th, and I'm still picking fresh peppers. Using this easy technique, you can harvest warm season vegetables weeks or months early earlier in the spring, extend their harvest by weeks or months in the fall, and you can grow cold hardy vegetables like your brassicas or lettuce that may be unable to grow out in the open in your garden in a protected microclimate so you can harvest them all winter long. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.